Kevin Moses here today, your functional diagnostic nutritionist, and I'm going to do education on the mucosal barrier. So the mucosal barrier, this is your inner skin. It starts in the mouth, esophagus, the stomach, intestines, and out the genitals. The mucosal barrier is protected by something called microvilli, and there's actually microscopic villi on that villi. This is a drawing that I just made. You know, I'm definitely an artist at heart, and what did I do? Made some microvilli. So what happens, these microvilli are your immune system, okay? They protect you from pathogens, yeast, bacteria. They are your support. They provide digestive enzymes to digest food, help you assimilate food and make nutrients and make your body full of energy. What happens nowadays is we're bombarded with antibiotics and maybe we're sick. We're taking antibiotics maybe, um, you know, through food we're consuming, meats, eggs, dairy products. These antibiotics actually really can atrophy these microvilli and they retreat and say for instance now we have this and there's little junctions that are open. If you guys ever heard of leaky gut syndrome, this is leaky gut syndrome. So what can happen if we eat some food, we may have a food sensitivity now because we've eaten the food, it's in the stomach, it's trying to digest, and there's little microscopic holes in that mucosal lining. So a food particle can actually get in the bloodstream and cause a reaction. This is an example of a food sensitivity. So, I mean, it could be any kind of food. It could be eggs, apples, broccoli. It really doesn't matter. It's usually food that we consume a lot of if we have that um, weakening in the mucosal barrier. So what can happen? Weight gain, headaches, um, skin issues, acne, bloating. These are definitely signs that you may have a leaky gut syndrome. It's something you definitely should contact your functional diagnostic nutritionist about. Get some testing. Also, things that can really hurt the mucosal lining are parasites and bacteria. H. pylori, I'm sure you guys may have heard of that before. If not, it's a bacteria infection that is most common. I think 50% of the population has H. pylori. That's the stat out there right now. So if you're having acid reflux, any kind of digestive distress, definitely try to figure that out. Contact your nutritionist and see if they offer a test to see if you have leaky gut syndrome or any kind of bacteria, parasite, or yeast infection. That's my little education today on the mucosal barrier. Hope that explained what that entails. Uh, thank you for visiting uh, Moses In-Home Fitness. Take care. Bye-bye.